Okay. So we uh, to 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 improve the the the, the system to send out press releases. For the first uh, uh, four years and a half, uh, to send out press releases, I've used a proprietary system for public relations agencies that I've been using for, uh, for ages, uh, which uh, it was uh, uh, rather good, but not as flexible as this system. Then we, we managed, we, we, by talking to the PHP list guys, uh, I told them that uh, I was willing to test their system and help, to, and help them to make the system good also for press release distribution. So help them in uh, improving that for uh, not just for marketing campaign but of, for press release distribution. So we made an agreement and uh, they are giving this uh, for free to us. We don't pay basically the hosting. Uh, and uh, we have at the moment, uh, uh, these are our numbers. So, so we can send uh, every month uh, 50,000 uh, uh, emails. We can increase that, but there's no point to do that. Uh, if you, as you see, uh, this, uh, we, this month we sent uh, 13,000, so we still have quite many to send. Uh, this is our account, uh, this, is our, uh, this is the dashboard. Uh, at the moment, uh, is only uh, there is a single user. Uh, this is one of the because it it's typically something that is uh, actioned by the marketing department. I asked them uh, to make it multi-user. They're working on that. So one of the next version will be multi-user because what I've told them is that we must need in the future several people sending out press releases in specific languages, not independently by letting every other know that we are send, sending press releases, but on their own. At the moment, so I have to be the central point uh, because uh, uh, I am the owner of the account. And uh, uh, inside the account, there are 13,000 emails. So, so I cannot, sh we cannot share that much the, the credentials because it's, uh, there is a pr privacy problem uh, with all these emails inside. So I'm willing to share, to create other accounts, uh, but I'm not willing to share credentials at the moment because it's risky in terms of security. So that is uh, basically the, our dashboard. And uh, this uh, tells you how many press releases we have sent so far. So we have sent 65,000, more than 60,000 uh, uh, emails uh, uh, since uh, uh, we started in March, end of March. And so far, uh, this uh, is a really, really, really good system. And I want you to understand uh, how the system works uh, because it uh, gives us uh, huge opportunities to improve our communication. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, this for instance is what I, I, we get uh, after the one campaign is over. So this was the press release that I've sent on September 16. And uh, it was sent to, to 4,119 journalists. So each journalist gets a separate email. It's not blind copy. It's an email to him that we can even make personal. Dear John, I don't make it personal because it, there's no point at this moment, but we, if necessary, we can make it personal. There are switches and tags that we can use. Uh, out of 4,394 views, which means uh, it's almost 10%. It's a rather, you, you can say it's, it's not a good percentage. It's, it's a very good percentage. Uh, usually, press release uh, the a PR agency will tell you that a percentage of three percent is a, it starts to be a good percentage. So if we are at over nine, is a is a very good percentage. Uh, keep in mind that each journalist receives uh, an average of three hundred emails with press releases per day. So if you look uh, at the number of seconds he has in his day. 
it's not one press release per second, but we are close to one press release, uh, uh, to four to five press releases per minute, which is really uh, much. Of course, uh, and unfortunately, there are 376 bounces. Uh, journalists are used to change magazine, used to change uh, editor, used to change publisher, and uh, chasing them uh, is uh, an incredible uh, problem. So I, every week uh, I spend at least uh, four hours in uh, getting, uh, in correcting the addresses that bounce back. Because it's, uh, they will never send you an email. Some, of, some guys, they send you an email that says, uh, uh, I'm changing uh, my post, so please uh, change the email from this to that. But it's not more than 5% is doing this. So the other 95%, you have to start looking into the internet and see where he, he is now and how the, the, the email has changed. Uh, but at least uh, this gives us evidence of the changes. The previous system, uh, the email were lost. And we could know only because the journalist, in some cases, not receiving our press releases, sent an email like, uh, oh, I was receiving your press releases since uh, until August, and then it's November, I don't receive them anymore. Now we can chase them immediately. I didn't chase them so far because it, there was the conference, but on Monday when I'm back in Italy, I will start chasing these guys that have... Some of them may have retired some of them of course that's not everyone is changing uh, but uh, this helps us uh, in keeping the mailing list clean so let's uh, uh, I, I show you uh, the process to send out a press release that this is uh, the press release that I've sent the other day about the 502 so I, I took this I took the screenshots while I was uh, uh, creating the campaign. Uh, they call it still a cam campaign because it's a marketing campaign. For us it's not a campaign, but anyway, I don't mind about the name. So you have a, an editor. Actually, they have just improved this. Uh, it's a basic editor, but I, don't, I usually never write the, the, the press release here. I, I use LibreOffice, of course, uh, and then I cut and paste it. They unfortunately have a, a, a paste from Microsoft Word. Uh, and I've suggested them uh, to add another one that is paste from ODF, which would be nicer. Uh, actually, it's not true that it's paste from Microsoft Word, because if I paste an ODF inside, it gets it. So it's probably paste from a word processor. It's uh, paste, but it's removing super. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it uh, filters the, uh, the, the additional uh, stuff. So uh, when, when, when I paste something using this, uh, which is paste from Word, uh, it opens uh, a window and I paste inside that window. This is the text. Uh, then I, I, you, you, you hit OK and uh, you have the text inside the, 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 the dashboard. And then uh, as several journalists uh, Several journalists want the HTML, uh, several journalists want the, uh, the text version. So this allows me to generate uh, uh, the text version from HTML just by pushing this button. So I get the two versions and a journalist can decide because each journalist uh, has his own uh, small dashboard and he can decide uh, to receive text HTML uh, or uh, to uh, receive only one message per week and so all the, uh, the, the options that a mailing list uh, manager gives you. So th this is the, the text version and then you choose a format. Uh, I use, uh, the, I've created a system template which is uh, using the LibreOffice green. It's a simple, uh, uh, there is a header and a footer with uh, LibreOffice but it's just for making it nicer. And uh, then uh, I decide uh, to send an attachment. I always send a press release with a small attachment. Uh, even, uh, uh, for instance, in this one, uh, there was nothing real that I could attach. 
So I attach the, splash, the, the small splash screen of LibreOffice. Because uh, editors, uh, today, online, offline, uh, you always publish an image inside the, the article. So I want them not to lose the time to look for the image. I already send them the image. Of course, if they are uh, smart enough to have uh, more images for LibreOffice, then they are uh, free to, to choose their own image. But at least they get the splash screen uh, to, to attach uh, without looking for the image around the web. Uh, of course, this is attached. As you see, it's a small one. Uh, I never send uh, a large attachment unless uh, there is a specific reason to send uh, a large attachment. And then uh, I define the hour because in this case I wanted to send it uh, on September 23. This is before I move it. Uh, I, I, I've uh, changed it. So you can... Uh, decide that which is the time uh, the press release will start leaving automatically. You, you don't have to be online when uh, the, the campaign is started. Uh, once you have uh, set the campaign, it, it starts automatically. Uh, you, you say stop sending after because if, if it bounces, it tries to send it again and again and again until there, is, uh, there are three bounces from, from an address. Then uh, it will put the address uh, aside and we'll send you the address in a list as a bounce, ad bounce address. You can repeat the campaign, which of course uh, has no meaning with press releases, but could be an option sometimes. And you can requeue, which means uh, restart from scratch uh, every now and then. Of course, this is more uh, from the marketing side but uh, nothing tells us that we cannot use this for, uh, as a newsletter if we want, uh, and therefore to use, uh, instead of press releases, to send out a newsletter. Why not? And then uh, I choose the list. The list at the moment are divided into global. I have Italia because I have, only in Italy, I have almost 3,000 editors. So, of course, it, Italy is very segmented because uh, I have, this is my historical list from, of Italian editors. Then I have uh, Europe, America, Pacific, Africa, Asia, Far East, Asia, Middle Asia, and Asia, Middle East. Asia is such a huge continent that I <laughs> had to, to se segment it. Otherwise, I was not finding the mailing list. It's, this is for my use, but I think it it's easy to understand for everyone. Uh, just because otherwise uh, it, 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 it take you um, a huge amount of time uh, to select the list. And then I have list for platform, which means Android, for instance, iOS. This is not by language, it's by platform. These are the journalists that we have the Android one because uh, I sent out a press release about the Android viewer. So I created an Android mailing list. Of course, I will improve the, the platform mailing list, uh, and nothing tells that I will add categories. We will probably have a cloud category when the cloud version will be available. Then you, uh, you see all subscribers are 13,090. The 1,090, um, 1,290 are the journalists that have unsubscribed which were on top of 13,090. Of course, a journalist, uh, uh, at the end of each message, they find uh, if you want, don't want to receive any more this message, you click here and you will unsubscribe. I prefer them to unsubscribe. They can subscribe again, of course, uh, instead of thinking that we send spam. So, of course, every time we have a little bit of some people that unsubscribe, I don't mind. I keep on adding more people than the people that unsubscribe. Uh, test, of course, is a, is a small mailing list that I use to, to test messages to see how they... It's, it's, it's four addresses, or it's four addresses where I am uh, just to see how the, 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 the message looks, uh, if necessary. Uh, and then... Uh, these are the lists that I chose for this, uh, for this uh, email. Uh, clicks by, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, there is a, uh, 
I gave the name, but then I put an explanation to uh, make everyone uh, aware. But I, when when we will share it, I will uh, run a webinar for everyone else to to understand. So clicks by journalists uh, are the journalists that have opened a previous email. So these journalists uh, are receiving all our press releases because they have shown interest by opening one of the emails. Of course, if they're not interested anymore, they can unsubscribe. Then uh, editorial team list is alias email of editorial departments. It's like, for instance, uh, editors at PC Magazine, editors at PC World, editors at Computer World. It's one alias and several people are subscribed to that alias. In some cases, a journalist will unsubscribe from his personal email because he's already receiving the alias, or vice versa. He wants to receive it on, on his personal, he will unsubscribe the alias. Then, uh, invited journalists are the journalists. I, I, I have pushed a little bit the, the number of journalists, so I've invited journalists to subscribe to our emails, but I'm not sending them minor releases. I send them only major releases with a small uh, uh, paragraph on top that says uh, this is one of our major releases. You will receive it only twice a year. Uh, you are, of course, invited to subscribe uh, to our regular uh, mailing list. If they subscribe, uh, they switch to the other mailing list automatically. Uh, then there are journalists on list. These are the journalists that I consider our friends. They did not open all emails, but these are the guys that have told me that they wanted to be on our list. Because I write, before inserting a journalist into the mailing list, I send him an email standard that says, uh, uh, I've seen that you are writing about uh, office software. Do you mind if I send you LibreOffice press releases? Or uh, I've seen that you're writing about productivity or about standards or about uh, do you mind if you re to receive our press releases? So these are the journalists on lists because they've accepted to be our, on our list. And then uh, I've created for the LibreOffice 5.0 uh, a special list uh, of editors that are testing uh, Office Suite. So I've called that LibreOffice 5.0, launch of LibreOffice 5.0. I might change the name of this list in the future, so uh, product <coughs> review editors. But at the moment it's 5.0, it's okay for me. And uh, when we launched 5.0, I created a special list of reviewers of Windows 10. So, you know, one week be before, uh, the Microsoft launched Windows 10 one week before our launch of 5.0. Mm -hmm. So just by digging on the uh, on the website, I found all the editors that in that week uh, did a review of Windows 10. So I sent to all the editors a sp special uh, launch uh, package that was, uh, you have reviewed Windows 10, LibreOffice 5.0 is compatible with Windows 10. You may want to review LibreOffice 5.0. And in the future, we will do more and more and more of this. Because, of course, now I will uh, make a mailing list of all the reviewers of Office 16. Because it's natural. If you test Office 16, you should test LibreOffice. Maybe you are more enthusiastic about Office 16, but then you know LibreOffice. So this is, and, and being a minor release, I've sent only in English, not in other languages. Uh, but we can decide to send minor release in other languages as well. That's not written in any way. Uh, by the way, in this area, there are, there are Indian journalists uh, in uh, in Far East, uh, there is Taiwan, of course, there is China. Uh, you speak the same language at the end, so if you <laughs> translate the press release, I will send that to Chinese journalists. And I hope you will not be offended by that. Uh, 
America, of course, is North and South America. Africa, Africa. We still we, we have a few journalists. Uh, uh, I think that Africa is a challenge to, that we have to improve uh, because uh, it's uh, it's such a poor continent that they have other problems than installing software. Uh, I totally understand. Uh, but uh, uh, from what I understand, uh, they are really supporting free software. Because of course, uh, it's not a cost, but it's not just the, the fact that it's not a cost. They, they are really concerned, uh, uh, they, they have real ethical concern on one side, and they are happy about the fact that we support their languages and they don't have to spend money to have a suite in their language. So they have, for instance, we have a LibreOffice in Swahili. You can understand that all the central the, the Africa is speaking Swahili. So they, and, and it's not easy for them uh, to find even books in Swahili. So finding a software for them is a very important uh, thing. Uh, I will improve it. I will improve it. Uh, so we, I will add categories. I will add uh, uh, the flexibility of the system is very good. It's very solid. So, so we, we will add uh, uh, countries. We will add uh, as I said, uh, now we have uh, only one clicks by journalist. My objective is to have click by journalist in every language. So in every language should have two mailing lists, one generic and one uh, with the address of the journalist that have opened our press releases. And these guys should always get uh, uh, our press releases. And not, all, not, not only, these guys, we should start poking these guys, calling these guys at local level and talking to these guys and meeting these guys because they are interested in our stuff. Uh, this uh, gives you the numbers, uh, so all subscribers, uh, 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 as you can see, the editors of op Optin, of course, has no, uh, has no refusals. Uh, all the others are people that are un unsubscribed. It's, I don't see that as a problem. Uh, as you can see, the number of people that is receiving is a little lot bigger than the people that have unsubscribed. So it's, it's a good, for me, it's a good situation. Uh, every list, uh, you can uh, delete the list, uh, s look at the list, of course. Uh, so look at the list of uh, uh, emails. For several emails, uh, I also have uh, the name of the journalist and the name of the magazine. Uh, and uh, I've added uh, a number of uh, fields uh, which are uh, uh, covers a platform, uh, covers uh, as reviewed LibreOffice and so on. And my plan is to improve this uh, and uh, in a way that in the future it will be easy to search the list uh, and find the guys that have to receive uh, a specific press release because they are already on target. Uh, you can look at the people, uh, you can add it, uh, uh, and uh, you can... Uh, so these ones uh, are public uh, because I want the, the journalist... Uh, these are the two latest. I want the journalist to be able to access their profile. If uh, this is not clicked, uh, the list are private, that means that the journalist cannot update his profile on the list. Uh, it's not that I don't want the journalist to do that, but there's, it's still not clean enough uh, to show that to external sources. Uh, if you think that this has been done in eight months, uh, it's quite a lot of work, uh, and uh, it, before it's clean enough uh, to show to external sources, it probably is going to be next year. It's a, it's a rather demanding job. Then last thing, uh, you add the Google Analytics tracking code, which is just in a message. Uh, you don't need to reset the statistic, I don't mind. I mean, it's... Uh, and then you, you, you hit this big button, place campaign in queue for sending. That means uh, you, you... Of course, uh, you, you send it immediately, if you didn't change the the scheduling uh, the scheduling uh, tab, otherwise it will 
wait until uh, the schedule is leaving. For is usually, as we decide be in an, uh, before uh, the time of the release, uh, I program this the evening before. And I program giving me half an hour of time uh, to stop everything. So usually the press release uh, start uh, 30 minutes after our announcement, just because I, I want to be sure that everything has worked. Otherwise I have 30 minutes to stop the campaign and to reschedule it at a later date, because it's automatic, of course. So, and uh, this, uh, just to, uh, again, we, we looked at the, uh, at the previous one, uh, this gives all the, uh, so, uh, sent as HTML 3,900, as a text 174, bounce 3,076, open 394, uh, clicked 15. Uh, usually, I usually always have a, a link inside of the, 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 the release to see the people that are clicking. Of course, the guys that are clicking on it are even more interested than the guys that are opening it. So uh, this is why I've told you, uh, forward it, it happened, not that much, but some press releases have been sent by an editor to another editor. And I get an email that says that press release has been forwarded by Mr. X to Mr. Y. So this is why I'm telling you that for the time being, uh, before we are able to have a multi uh, multi-user account it is better than I concentrate all the sending of press releases and then I'm happy to share the, the statistics I'm happy to give you because this 394 if I click on that red number I get the list of emails so I'm happy to share with you the list of emails let's say of Indian journalists that have uh, opened a press release and then you may want to send them uh, an email in your language that says, thank you for opening our press release. We hope that you are happy with the LibreOffice 5.0 or 5. whatever. Uh, if you want to get information about the LibreOffice community in India, please poke me and so on and so forth. Because this way, I think that that journalist will be happy to know that there is someone speaking his own language will probably be happier to publish about LibreOffice because maybe you explain them that, that LibreOffice in their language, there is a community and uh, there is a number of people that are willing to inform him in the, in the right way, in a transparent way. We don't want him to write anything that he doesn't want about LibreOffice. We, but of course, we are more than happy to provide him all the materials that he needs to, to write nice articles. And uh, I know that that can probably sound a little bit unfamiliar to some of you, but this is the way you do it. I mean, it's, there's no other way to grow your popularity amongst journalists. Either you have a huge amount of money to buy advertising, and therefore the, the, the journalists will notice that every three pages in their magazine there is a, an advertising of, a, of your company, but we don't have that much money. Uh, so we have to, to, to use uh, what we can, which is being nice, gentle, collaborative, provide information, be transparent, be happy to provide additional information. If we cannot meet a deadline, I will tell it immediately to the journalist. Uh, one journalist from a, a Linux magazine uh, uh, has spoke to me the first day of the, of the meeting, of the conference. And I answered, uh, Matthew, sorry, but I'm swamped. I will not be able to send you anything before Friday. So if it's still OK for you, you will get my text on Friday evening. Otherwise, thank you for the opportunity, but I can't. And Matthew has told me, don't worry. I'm waiting to, to publish the article. I'm waiting your, your quote. Probably if I. Instead of telling him immediately, uh, you have to wait three days, uh, I, 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 le I would let him wait until yesterday evening or even was this morning uh, 
to tell him that he was not able to send the, the, the staff, not only he would have ignored us, but probably would have said that son of a nice lady uh, is creating me a problem because I, I, I le I've left some space for his comments and now he's telling me that he's not able to, to give me his comments. And this is just an example. So tell them immediately, I cannot. I mean, we are not, we are all volunteers, so we, we cannot work 24 hours for anyone, especially if we are not paid. So uh, it's a lot better to tell people uh, we, we, we do our best, best effort, uh, because they will understand. They will understand our goodwill to, to collab cooperate with them. And uh, that uh, was already seen. And these are all the statistics. So these are all the, you know, uh, we, this, I think, uh, uh, can it be in Hungarian, Paketov? No. No, OK, sorry. Uh, this is English, crowd. This is uh, German, Spitzenklasse. Uh, this I don't know. This is Italian. Uh, so these are the results of the press releases sent in. There is uh, Hungarian as well, but it was probably one of the first that, that I've. Uh, that I, so uh, it's on the second page, not on the first. Uh, there are. Uh, it's temper page. Uh, but you see, you see views, clicks, uh, why, how many sent, and uh, so it's important. Can give us uh, a very good uh, uh, background on what we are doing. Okay, and I'm finished. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's the software is available for free for us. Um, okay, but not for uh, the community members. Let's say, for example, we, so this can be used for other purposes as well, not only. Um, okay, uh, so PHP List is a free software. You can uh, install your own instance on your server. It's uh, rather easy. I've installed one instance on my server. I've not used, but I wanted to see how difficult it was. It's not incredibly difficult. Uh, you need, a, a, of course, a server somewhere, uh, but it's uh, rather easy to install. Online, uh, the, of course, uh, the importance is that they maintain that for us. So we don't have to upgrade it. We don't have to make any change. They, they are doing the uh, management, which is, can be quite a lot of time. So of course for us it's uh, it's free for TDF, which means uh, as long as you do that for TDF is free for all of you. Uh, I think early next year there will be the multi-user uh, version, mm -hmm. so everyone will be uh, will have a multi-user version. We'll have a, an account. The account will allow to use all the mailing list uh, to send the campaigns and so on. Of course. Uh, Myself, as a manager, I will get emails for all the activities, but there we need someone that controls that the use of the of the platform. It's not to control you, but of course uh, we have yeah. to coordinate stuff. One question. Sure. Uh, in the, in the multi-user environment. Uh, for translated uh, press releases, uh, the center should be with a document foundation email address. No, 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 absolutely not. Uh, let's say that uh, probably we will agree on a signature that says if you want to know about the TDF, this is the address and it will m be my address. If you want to know about LibreOffice, okay. your address for Iceland, uh, and it's your address. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Of course, uh, uh, oh, there is a signature that every user can uh, can decide. 
So in the template, you decide the signature. At the moment, there is only, of course, one. But each user, when you configure your user uh, environment, mm -hmm. you have co to configure your signature. So all your messages will have the same signature. Of course, we will agree on a signature that is similar for everyone to be consistent, which I think it will be question to TDF, this address, question about LibreOffice, this address, question about the Icelandic community, this address. Mm -hmm. There should be some sort of protocol about... Yeah, no, we, we have to be consistent. Uh, we, we, I don't want that our communication is different from for each, each one, because otherwise it looks like a mess. And we would look unprofessional. This is the problem, you know. Uh, Microsoft is using Burson Masteller. Burson Masteller is a very good PR agency. They look very professional. We should look as professional as Burson Masteller, even if we are not Burson Masteller. And again, if you are not on the private marketing list, uh, send me an email because you should get into the private marketing list. Myself, Sophie, I mean, uh, any, any, myself, Sophie or, or Florian, uh, we are the person that are uh, looking after this kind of, uh, this kind of stuff. Send us an email after the conference to make sure that you are on the right uh, on the right mailing list.